Hey Ari, having a bad day? Yeah. All the cool CGI characters sit at the NFT table. But the teacher said I can't sit there because I'm not decentralized. Besides, nobody at Alexandria Tech likes me. I'm too snouty to be a crypto punk. Too yachtless to be a bored aardvark. Well, as one of my heroes once said, don't believe the hype. We'll have you decentralized in a minute. Really? You're the GOAT. Um, but what is decentralization? Decentralization. We should discuss this. Yeah, what does it mean if a network is trusted? Well, what would it mean if we transfer control from a centralized source to one with many nodes? While decentralizing data engineers were elated to show single point of failure could be obviated because the Blackweed Protocol offers a solution through data redundancy. Distribution. What if someone steals me? Right quick with a right click. What if I'm trapped on a cold storage device without my hat and gloves? How will anyone find the real me among all the digital copies? Huh? Uh, Ari, Ari, relax. Now that you're on chain, that just means that you're one highly verified mammal. Because Cause, when a file's verified cryptographically, in independent replicas? Well, actually, we can see Web3 might prevent disaster. Of data loss or centralized bad actors. Decentralization, it prevents this? Yeah, losing your data can be quite expensive. Through group consensus, your data lives forever on a gigantic worldwide distributed ledger. So, what exactly is the block weave technology that makes this all possible? I'm glad you asked, Ari. We're out of time, so we'll just have to wait for our next piece of short form content that explains Web3 data permanence with an animated aardvark.